person sees all. Hello from smoky Quebec. It's getting really bad here. Getting really worried about everyone around the world with all the problems happening. But real quickly here in Quebec and and Ontario beside us, Ottawa, it's getting bad, right? The smoke is absolutely horrendous. Why do we see a red sun? Because a lot of people are saying, well, why? Because of the wildfires and all the smoke out there, why are we seeing the sun red all day it has nothing to do with sunrise and sunset, which is, of course, I've told you in the past, blue light scattering. See, these objects, the way we perceive them is their light. So the light from the sun reaches us. It's also interacting with the particles and chemicals and everything that's floating around in that wildfire here in Quebec and throughout Canada. So when the light reaches us, from these far away bright objects, because that's the way we perceive them from the light that's emitted from them. The light reaches us and then it scatters the blue light. So you see less blue light and you're seeing more of this red intense color. So what do you mean Bruce by blue light? You can understand everything because blue light scattered in all directions, right? And it's scattered by these tiny molecules of air in Earth's atmosphere, the blue, is scattered more than other colors. And the only reason why that is, is because they have shorter, smaller wavelengths. This is why we see a blue sky around us most of the time, right? Closer to the horizon, we'll notice that blue. The sky fades to a lighter blue or white further out. But like I said, that's what our eyes perceive. So if you say that the moon does not have a blue sky around it and you wonder why well it's because you're looking at it from earth if you go on the moon and look up into the sky would you not see the blue sky notice i'm using no filter and i'm showing you the sunspots science is cool and someone even said during the wildfires it's it's horrible the wildfires but such cool phenomena it really is we know nothing nothing about our atmosphere about our planet and i think humans know nothing about themselves humans take everything for granted humans believe everything they see and everything they hear except when it's the truth that's straight up honestly how i perceive the human race so we're looking at these sun filters without any filter like straight up outside if you have a regular camera i don't suggest it but of course do you understand that the clouds and the smoke serves as a filter and it's permitting us to see the sunspots it's permitting us to be able to see the surface of the sun better So, listen, we all learned something together about the blue light scattering. You know, notice how thousands of people are saying, hey, look at the sun, how red it is. Look at the sun, how red it is, which is normal because we don't do the research, of course. Not everyone's a scientist or interested or has the time to do the research. But when you do the research, and again, take it with a grain of salt, right? Science is an uh, evolving theory, you know, of assumptions, of mathematical equations and um, ideas. So... Take it with a grain of salt. Use the knowledge that you believe is possible because that's that's all we can do is theorize about what's outside of our world until we go ourselves. Don't ever think that there's no more need for any research on wavelengths or uh, planets or galaxies or space, right? Or even science in all fields. Challenge every professional out there that you disagree with if you have a good story to back you up, right? Or an idea, a theory. That's what the professionals do. But everyone depends on what these professionals are telling us and no one's doing any more research. We're just researching meanings and answers. It's coming. Let there be light. The sun's right there, but that's the end of it. It'll be closing up soon. <laughs> you won't see the sun for very long, that's for sure.
So without scrapping your camera, give it a try yourself. Zoom in if you see that you're looking at the sun. If the sun are not hurting your eyes, might not hurt your camera either. Or it might. It might cost you 10000 bucks. I don't want to get you uh, with a broken camera. But look, I mean, look at the beauty in disaster sometimes. It's a, it's a very scary thing. So it's pouring rain and sunny. Welcome to all new subscribers. Muchas gracias, amigos. Thank you very much, everyone. Merci beaucoup. Ladies and gents, thanks so much, everyone. See you in the comment section. Thanks for being here. Everyone, thanks for the generous contributions and thanks for watching the videos. Doesn't matter cause the slow's just coming soon The slow's just coming